Lord. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Good. And, uh, it's been we're here to... Go ahead. Interesting Go ahead. day. It's just it's been an inter it's been an interesting week, actually. Oh. So I'm doing great. <laughs> just shit's everywhere. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it is definitely everywhere. <laughs> All over the place. I think I had to it whip is. out my hip hip waiters this evening. It was so bad. <laughs> yeah, but it's all good. It's great, as a matter of fact. It is. It's been fantastic. It's been a hell of a I ride this week. I tell whether I look like a a fisherman or that dude on Deliverance. <laughs> God, who knows, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's hard to tell. Um. We're here to, I brought you on to talk about uh, um, fandoms and uh, as a, you're a woman of the fandom and what, 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 what brought you to the, uh, well, let's just start. What are your fandoms? Okay. That's, that's good. Um, Lord of the Rings, of course. Oh, That's yeah. my favorite. That's my heart. I've been a fan of Tolkien since I was nine years old. Jeez, so, I don't know if I'd go that far back. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I, I found The Hobbit at nine, and of course, I found fell Stephen in love King with that at book. seven. But uh, we're gonna... well, there you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, my and, first book uh, was it. How, imagine how terrifying that was. Was which one? It. <laughs> God, you were seven. Yeah. Okay, that that would have done it for me too. <laughs> Just ooh, it. I yeah. think that's an intense story. I didn't really truly understand it, but I got like into like my teenage years, mm -hmm. and I keep okay. Every time I read it, I understand more and more of it. Yeah, yeah, I can see that because uh, it's just so. There's so much to it, you know. But um, yeah, Tolkien was my first. I have to say, Lady Kagome's being such a sweetheart. Look at it. I'm like, yeah, bless you. <laughs> oh my God! Hey y'all, how you doing tonight? It's good to I see wish. y'all. I wish I was <laughs> in my thirties. <30s. laughs> Oh, age is just a state of mind. Yeah, life could be a dream. <laughs> yeah. God. But uh, so, what was the question? Okay, what that's fandoms. The you're fandoms one of your, your like. fandoms. Okay. Yeah, yeah, your fandoms. <laughs> okay, let's see. Lord of the Rings. We got that one. We got Tolkien. Um, uh, Star Trek, of course. Star Trek. I love it. Um, Original and Deep Space Nine are my favorite, and I do like. Um, Next Generation very much, too, because that was actually the first Trek I saw was Next Generation. My late husband introduced me to that. And then from there, he got me into the old series, the original, the original series. And then we nice. watched Deep Space Nine when it came out. And my favorite captain is Cisco. So that's kind of my favorite of, of all of them is Deep Space Nine, because I, I love Cisco. I think he's a, the perfect blend of Kirk and Picard. I know there are other captains, but at the time, there wasn't. So that he's my captain. I even have a cat named after him. So that tells you how much I like this captain. <laughs> if I get a Damn. name one of my cats after him, oh yeah, highest honor ever is to get a cat in the Avalon household named after you. <laughs> That's that's pretty good. Um, my uncle was a hardcore Trekkie, or he he, he's, he still he still is. Um, I think he's um, original TOS mm -hmm. and yeah. the movies. Yeah, yeah, I love the movies. Because I okay, I do remember when we were uh, when uh, Star Wars was getting remastered in THX, we went to go see all of those together with me, my dad, and my brother. It was, mm -hmm. it was, it was a big thing with uh, with all of us. It was since mom wasn't really into Star Wars, it was kind of like a guy thing. 
Yeah, I could see that. For us, it was it was it was male bonding time. Yeah. So uh, we uh, we'd go to, we'd go see it, and uh, then we uh, I I remember during that time uh, one of the Star Trek ones. I think it was uh, Nemesis that was coming out. And that's, okay? that's where I found out he's a hardcore Trekkie. What, before before Nemesis, you found out? Like, like just before Nemesis was coming out, because he was talking about Nemesis while uh, while we were seeing some of the Star Wars trilogy. Ah, okay, yeah. Because yeah. that would be about that time. It would, yep. And uh, we went and seen First Contact and Nemesis, actually. And he 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 went out of the theater after Nemesis, and he just kind of sh- he was kind of shaking his head like, <laughs> like yeah he he, he, he he did this face palm and shaking his head like what the fuck? <laughs> the <face palm. laughs> okay. it's like he, he yeah I could have sworn he was muttering under his breath because he <laughs> he was the one that drove home that drove us all home that night because it was his turn to drive. It was I, my dad and my uncle Hans when we did this stuff. They they all took her. They all took turns. Uh-huh. Yes, I think I just name dropped my uncle. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you can fix it in post. Hi, I, I'm Hester and I'm an alcoholic. God. And yes, I seriously have an uncle named Hans. His mother was literally a survivor of a certain time in a from a certain world war. Gotcha. Yeah, understood. Yeah. Understood. Absolutely. Well, so we have Star Trek. Uh, now, I did. I I have been on this earth long enough to have seen the original Star Wars when I was a kid. Um, and that, of course, you know, Star Wars, hell, Star Wars opened up the love of the the space opera really is what it is. It's a, it's a science fiction opera. And what I mean by that is it's such a, you know, a story that's larger than life, but yet incredibly simple on its own. And that yeah. brought yeah, the, the appreciation that. of space to the masses in a way that we hadn't seen before. So I fell in love with Star Wars and, you know, I mean, God, my brother had everything. He had the drapes. He had the sheets. He had the robe. He had the slippers. He had the toys. He had the I had the sheets. If I, I remember yeah. correctly. <laughs> so, you know, we would always play Star Wars because we, we just, we loved it. And he just fell headfirst into it. Oh God, he's kicking himself for getting rid of some of that stuff. You know, it just stuff gets old and worn out. Yeah, well. Yeah, I, I was mean, actually original... looking. No crap. Mm-hmm. I I was looking online, and uh, I was uh, looking at the uh, old Millennium Falcon ship because mm-hmm. I had that, and I'm like, it's like I saw that price, and I was like, on I was I was pissed. I was piss dialing because I was just <laughs> I, I was calling up my mom and like how did you ever think that it was cool to throw away the Millennium Falcon <laughs> not the Millennium Falcon <laughs> oops how in the I no, th- I think these were my exact words how in the hell did you throw away the Millennium Falcon <laughs> and what'd she say she says, first of all, you need to calm down before I hang up. <laughs> Good on you, Mom. Don't let your boy talk to you like that. <laughs> second, <laughs> second, she was like, um, I, I thought you kids were done with it. I thought you wanted me to get rid of them. No, Mom. <laughs> no. No. That's Han Solo ship. It's a Millennium Falcon. You, you, do not, you do not just discard the Millennium Falcon. No, no it's like I'm, I'm laughing at it today, but you just you just don't don't do that. No, that's God. If we were younger, that would have just been uh, just inconceivable. <laughs> you just don't do that. <laughs> oh well, did you mourn it? Did you have a chance to 
grief. Yeah, after after I looked at the pr- the price of it that I could have got, I could have got <laughs> even out of the box. I think that thing was at least one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars, depending on how uh, much you had of it. Wow. I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I may have a down payment on a new TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, geez. oh, God. I'm still using a 32 inch uh, 1080. I'm not in like full, full blown uh, 4K yet. I don't think I am either, to be honest with you. Our TV is uh, five years old, six years old. I don't know. I don't know what my husband got it. I don't know what he got. It works. And that's all that matters right now. I can see what's on the screen and I'm happy. Yeah. You know, (laughs) I don't care. Yeah. yeah. Star Wars was one of those fandoms that was just like it. You could feel it, whether you were just, you could relate to it. It's because the messages were all there. It was about, family and honor and redemption mm-hmm. yes and it was about coming of age oh yeah the, that too it was Luke very coming relatable. of age he was a boy you know on the moisture farm he was a boy but and when he you, became a man you know and when you live where i live sometimes your first kiss is your sister <laughs> Well, well too, too much you don't have a sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they kind of screwed the pooch with that one, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. We won't talk about Splinter of the Mind's Eye, will we? No. I don't know. <laughs> I, actually, I don't think I read that one all the way through yet. Yeah, um, I, if, if I remember correctly, and I could be wrong. So if anyone in the chat is like, Arwen, you're so wrong, I, I will take it. But I think Luke and Leah mm, don't really act like brother and sister in that book. I don't they know. Get, that, do I, they get it, the bump and uglies? I, I, I don't remember that. But again, it has been years since I've read it. Years. But I remember the impression was when I read that book, they are not brother and sister. And then when, uh, you know, of course, it came out that they were, I was like, oh, Damn, where are they from? <laughs> God. Anyway, Star Wars, I love it. It uh it 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 changed my mind on a lot of science fiction. But it wasn't until I really became oh gosh, I don't know how old I was. I think in my very early 20s. Um that that I had met my late husband in college and, you know, he of course, like I said, he introduced me to TNG. And then I kind of got the bug and I wanted to watch more science fiction. You know, it ceased being this really cold, you know, show and shit about numbers and, um, you know, calculations and technology. And I started seeing the things that I loved about fantasy breathed into that. You know, there were warmth to the characters. There were relationships to the characters. There was drama. There was... Yes, there was science, but in a way there was magic too. I mean, in some ways, magic could be just unexplained science. So I kind of started to see it through that lens. And then saw it more from a science like a scientific perspective. More uh, than well, let me put it this way: the scientific aspect of it became more palatable because I actually saw it through um you know, an eye of, of fantasy, an eye of, of magic. And like, you know, if you got Gandalf over here, you know, you shut up first and he's fighting the Balrog and the staff is going and everyone's no freaking out. Well, then you got, you know, Kirk and his group over here, con, you know, and they're doing their thing with lasers. And I'm like, damn, it's the same shit. It's just one's using magic and one's using technology. And that's what kind of broke that um, that wall for me. And I'm like, I can get into this. I'm enjoying the hell out of this. 
And then I found Babylon five and I was like, okay, I'm here and I'm not ever leaving. And then came uh, Battlestar Galactica. And, what you know, about the, Farscape? The, the yeah, I love Did Farscape. Like, love I Farscape. like Farscape. Yeah. Love it. So, um, yeah, you know, and then of course, you know, I like Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. That's another one of my yeah, fantasy but, series. That, but that's again, one it, thing that me and uh, Butterfly share. We, uh, we both love Harry Potter. Yeah. I thought I were a Potterhead too. Yeah. Who is? Who'd you say? You. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, me. Oh, yeah. Gryffindor. Kick y'all's asses at uh, I, I I could go either <laughs> or. I, I took a test where I, where it said I was a Gryffindor, and then I took another test where it said I was Slytherin. So mm -hmm. I could go either way. Yeah, I'm pretty much, I think I, I've taken like 15 quizzes. Yes, I'm one of those. Because I really wanted to nail down and see what my house really was, you know, and all the quizzes. So are around. you hardcore Gryffindor? I'm or... hardcore Gryffindor. I've only had two Hufflepuffs out of 15 quizzes. I, I could see Hufflepuff. Yeah, I can I know. see the I was... Hufflepuff because you're kind of like, I notice, I notice the way you are attached. You're just kind of laid back, go with the flow, <laughs> kind of. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not uptight. That's, I'm definitely not uptight. Um, but yeah, and, and even the official Pottermore house or Pottermore website that she had launched or that was launched, I don't, I don't know. I think she was involved in it, um, Rowling, but even they put me in Gryffindor. And, you know, once they do it, you can't change it. Yeah, well, like, once okay. once Pottermore says, oh, you're like, yeah, you're, you're that. You're that. So there we go. Uh, but I have a daughter who's a Slytherin, and she is a bonafide Slytherin. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's born and bred to be a Slytherin. And my husband was a Ravenclaw, although he really didn't give two shits. He really didn't care. I just, like, Ravenclaw. I've read the books, damn it. You're a Ravenclaw. And he was like, okay, I'm a Ravenclaw. And then my son is more of a Hufflepuff. So we, we had the whole house, houses here in, in my home. It was wild. That's cool. That <laughs> yeah. is awesome. I enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> my, yeah, the sad part is... Uh, I can't, I, uh, I don't, don't have to get a little down and somber, but, uh, my parents, I don't know what's up. I guess, uh, they don't want my kids into any of this, so they don't, they don't even, I don't even think they know about my YouTube channel. Probably a good thing. It, it may be. It may but, be. uh, um, yeah, and uh, I tried to get him, um, my son into like uh, the games I used to grow up with, like Mario and Zelda mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I even wrote him. I even wrote him a story that I told him at his birthday. Mm -hmm. I I made him his own little story. It was basically the story of the Legend of Zelda. Made as a children's fairy tale. That sounds awesome. It, it, it kinda, it's kind of it's kind of weird. Yeah. The way I described it, it's like once upon a time, not that long ago, there was this there was this boy named Link, and he found this old dude in a cave, gave him a sword, tell him go rescue the princess. Mm -hmm. And uh, he and he searched up and down, wandering aimlessly through all these dungeons to find the key to save the princess. Keep going. So Makes he sense. fought valiantly, dungeon through dungeon, boss through boss finding little trinkets and things to help him along the way. And finally, he opens the final gate to Ganon's lair. And, yeah, I can't remember all of it off the top of my head, but this is, just, yeah, I don't that have it. Good. He so has that's... it. He has it. I think he's the only one that actually has a copy of it. 
Damn. I mean, that sounded good. It sounded a lot more, um, I don't want to say darker, so maybe somber, like intense than the regular Link. Than yeah. The game. That sounded neat. That, yeah. You were I think, it, there. yeah, he liked it. My mom looked at me like, <laughs> like had this look of disdain on her face, like, why in the hell would you put that in his head? And whatever, whatever, whatever. Well, what does she know? She threw out the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. I mean, come that's on. What I, that's what I told her. It's like, what do you know? You threw out the Millennium Falcon. You know, come I, on. I, I'm not taking advice from a woman who doesn't have <laughs> a program of VCR. Exactly. Come on. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I love your mom. I respect your mom. I don't my, my mom, my mom, mom. <laughs> my mom, she is what she is. And I, and I, we've made her peace. I love Good. her. She's, she's Good. awesome. <laughs> Should always love your mama. Cause they'll, they'll be with you forever. <laughs> I don't care how old my kids get. I will still be their mama. And I'll still, I'll be still be able to tell them they could be 45 years old. And I'll be like, don't you get that live with me? I brought you into this world. I could take you out. And they know when they hear the voice that mama means business. I don't get mad very often. I'm very laid back. I rarely ever get mad. But sometimes they will find that nerve and they will tap dance on that nerve. Tap, 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 tap. And I'll tell them. Oh, that, that's, that's, thing about, that's, that's the thing about munchkins. They, 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 know, they know where to, mm -hmm. they know what buttons to press and, and, and how to do it repeatedly. Yeah. Just, to, just Sometimes they do it just to see the parents go off. Yep. And I'll tell them, nope, stop it. And then when they don't, when I finally, you know, put up with it for so long and then I explode and they're just like, God, what's wrong with mom? And my husband used to tell them, what do you think? Red roots run deep. You pissed her off. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, when they were little, he didn't use that language, but they're, they're grown now. So yeah, now I tell a... them, you pissed me off. <laughs> they're like, oops, you're right. God. Any other anyway. fandoms? <laughs> oh yeah, okay, fandoms. <laughs> yeah. Maybe uh, Zelda. <laughs> yes, yes, I actually played the Super Nintendo Zelda and I got to the very end and I could not kill that jerk. I couldn't kill okay. him. That version of Ganon was a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so I just gave up on it. I mean, you know, and we ended up selling the Nintendo and everything. I mean, not because of that, but just by that point, you know, a year had gone by. I hadn't played it. I was annoyed. It's like we had a garage sale and there they, there it went. We sold it. So I never finished that game. <laughs> never. But now there's YouTube. I may have to look it up. I may have to Google. Okay. How does he die? And uh, link to the past. Let me see. Look at them arrows. Them arrows. <laughs> them arrows. Oh well. Okay, other phantoms. What 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 was the last thing I said? Battlestar Galactica. Um Babylon 5. Firefly. Firefly. Oh yes. Love oh, okay. Firefly. I got since, since you said Firefly, I gotta mm -hmm. ask, were you one of those ones that were um writing in and calling out for the new for them to make a movie or bring back Firefly? I wanted them to make a movie only if uh it was going to be done as like a continuation and a, and a fulfillment of some of the story. Okay. But I was so, not one who wanted them to bring the show. Like, I mean, yeah, let's be, I'll be honest. I would have loved for the show to have been brought back, but my fear was that other people would have had their hands in the firefly pie and it would not have been the same thing. That was my fear. Yeah. So I was really, uh, I don't know about this. Maybe we ought to just, have the movie, consider that a victory, take it, enjoy it, and then let's move on. That's That was kind of my thought. But, you know, we I, I've often wondered, what if? All right. What if, you know, so. This chat's killing. Uh-oh, I think we lost our host. Hi, <laughs> y'all, you do. <laughs> oh, my God, let's see. I can read some of this. I can't respond to y'all because I'm not on the page. But I can look and see what y'all are saying. 
Let's see. We've got one says, I love Harry Potter, but I have different feelings towards Twilight. Yeah, not really the same thing. I like Twilight when it first came out, but mm, not too many things better than Twilight. Uh, let's see. Yvette says, my sister worked on Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. How cool. How cool. Um, I kind of enjoyed Fantastic Beasts. Uh, I, I haven't seen this. Oh, hey, you're back. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> Whatever you say, Boomer. God. Oh God. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Caster just boomered himself out of the damn it's studio. It's okay. Hey, I was. I had your back. <laughs> I was reading the chat. I was in. I had your back. You don't need to worry I, about I, it. I had my back like a crack, huh? I'm, I'm pretty quick on my feet. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm saying this chat is just like. I don't know where was I. He, uh, something about Neopools oh. and Twilight, and I'm like, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, no, no. <laughs> no. And, and and I think a jet um, pop culture archivist is like, we don't talk about that here. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> I, but I think he was being Twilight Princess, as Twilight in like Princess. Zelda Twilight Princess. Oh, okay. I'm thinking the movie Twilight. All right. My yeah, that's. I think that's I what everybody. Out of every... line. I'm sorry. No, you're no. <laughs> Are you kidding? We were we were making joke, cracking jokes about uh, Luke kissing his sister. You think you, we're going <laughs> to apologize? <laughs> we sure were. <laughs> God. No need to apologize. Uh, any other fandoms? Any other fandoms? I forget. I, I've put most of them on my Twitter bio, but I tried to cram as many in there as I could because there's so many. But there's you only get so many characters. Yeah, I can't. I can't cram everything. Too many damn care. Too little characters. Yeah. Fandoms, you know. Exactly. But hey, what those, about those music? What about out. music? What kind of music do you like? Like God, fandoms. I Jeez, I have such an eclectic taste. My my biggest the the, the fandom that I'm involved in on Twitter is the Rush. Family. Yeah, I know you're in the Rush. Yeah, that has been my band literally nearly all my life. And you know the expression, you know that that Rush has been the soundtrack for our lives. It's true. You know, for some of us, it's true. We we've been there almost from the very beginning. Some of us have been there from the very beginning. I've been there almost from the very beginning. And, you know, I, I, hell, Power Windows got me through my senior year of high school. I went through four cassette tapes of that bitch. And it's still, to this day, one of my favorite albums. Um, you know, and, and I can I can look at a Rush album and I can pinpoint exactly where I was and what I was doing, um, you know, in general. But I know I know where I was and what point of my life I was in by their albums. And I don't know a lot of bands that can do that for people. And I grieved when Neil Peart died. Uh, my husband told me that. And because he called me and he texted me and he said, Hey, you need to come here. There's something I need to tell you. And I was like, Oh, okay. And I came skipping in the room. I'm like, What's up, honey? What's up, babe? And he's like, Neil Peart passed away. Yeah. I, I and, know how you felt. I was barely functioning that day. I was like, yeah. Um, yeah, it felt like I was going through the motions when Neil Peart died. Yeah. Now, yeah. when Eddie Van Halen died for me, that was that was something. Like I yeah. I didn't even stream that night because like I was going to do a stream on Eddie Van Halen's death even like honoring the man, but yeah. I didn't do it till like a day after. Yeah, that was a tough one um, for a lot of people, and it affected people, you know, a lot of people like Pierce's death did, you know, and it's like these iconic men, these fan-fucking-tastic men, talented, brilliant, they uh, were humble, I mean, you know, for the man. most part, yeah, they were just <laughs> amazing men, and they're just, ugh, yeah, it sucked, that was, that was a... A sucky announcement. Um, and then, you know, a month later, my husband was gone. So it was it just 2020 just sucked ass all the way around. It was a really dark time, which, you know, I don't, I don't mean to bring the stream down. I'm not. I'm okay. Oh. It's fine. But, yeah, oh. it, uh, 
It was I was going to ask when was that, but uh, you kind of just yeah. boom, drop that in yeah. there. February 2020. Yeah. Very right before, month before COVID started just eating everyone alive. And Well, it was already starting. It was just. Well, yeah, that, let's see. When, when did we shut down here uh, in Georgia? I mean, I've been, I've been, we've been kind of fortunate. We've had lockdown, but it's never been as extreme as other places. Um, well, at least not Australia. Yes. Golly. They're yeah. just one step away from bringing in the tanks. They really are. I, I, I truly feel for them. And we've had some places here in the States that, that have done the same thing. You know, they've gone that route and it's just, it's rough. Cause you don't know really from state to state without, you know, actively looking what the rules are going to be and, and, you know, who you're going to piss off and who, you know, who's going to be masked and who's not, and who's vaccinated. It's just, it's, it's an insane world we live in today. And 2020 was the crux of it. That was a hard, hard year, not just for me, but for everyone, you know, and, and every, a lot of people grieved that year. They, they lost, they lost people. You know, I lost my husband to cancer and I know families that have lost their loved ones to COVID. So it was just a shit storm of the largest magnitude. And now, and now Norm McDonald from uh, Saturday Night Live. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, it happens. I mean, it happens and it sucks. But what we have to do when things get like that is you mourn and you grieve and then you find you find yourself at a crossroads and you can do one of two things. You can either shrivel on the vine and let your candle go out or you can decide, look, I'm still here. I'm still alive. And do I want to live? And if, if you want to live, then you need to make it work because nobody can do it for you. When you're that alone and you're that depressed and you're in that dark place, Nobody, no matter how much they tell you they love you, how much they tell you they understand, how much they're there for you. And God bless those people that are. You have to dig deep down and find it within yourself to say, you know what? I, I want to live. I have to live because you don't have another you don't have any other choice. And to me, living in the state that I was living in, that wasn't living. I was existing. I wasn't living. And I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty social person. I, I enjoy talking to people. I enjoy getting to know people. I, um, you know, I, I just, I, I'm a little outgoing. I don't know if you noticed, just a little, but it, it, it sucks. Just a little bit. It's just, <laughs> just a touch, just a smidgen. But to find yourself <laughs> completely alone, you know, and I had my kids, but, you know, they were dealing with their own grief. And I had to try and be mom. <coughs> I had to try and be strong for them because they just lost their Yeah. Dad. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't, other than the chats, I didn't know you by Adam. And I was like, when I asked you to be on, I was like, I was like, in awe at your reply, like, oh my God. She said yes. <laughs> yes. yes. It'll be fun. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, this one's going to be fun. <laughs> God, what did you unleash? No, but anyway, uh, what the hell are we talking about before we got so deep? Um, <laughs> I'm Fandom, sorry. You, you were on Rush. You were on Rush. Oh, and, well, uh, okay. Well, you know what? I, I got to mention right. something myself. Um, one of my favorite Rush albums, I, I believe I've told you this, but I don't think I've mentioned it to the fan, um, to the stream here. 2112 is probably my all-time favorite album. Ah, oh, twenty one twelve. Like what? It's up there. <sighs> twenty one twelve. It's like I think it's so good. Like that. If I was asked, I could probably write a story in the world of twenty one twelve. Oh, no doubt. Probably with multiple stories. No doubt. And you know, one of my favorite parts of that album is the discovery. Where Alex Lifeson, where, where, you know, the character finds the guitar and then Alex is like just kind of tuning it and playing with it. And then just kind of organically, this little light melody just cut. My God, monster musicians. All three of them were just ahead of their time. And I, and, and I think by the time Neil died, I mean, they were at the top of their tier. No, top of their tier. 
parrot head. Yeah, that, that's that's basically what it was. Uh, yeah, I totally I totally fangirled when uh <laughs> when fucking our when Avalon accepted to come on. I was like, because I, I was like, she ain't gonna fucking talk to me. What? Why? I look. I I am the newcomer. You guys, y'all have been here. Y'all know each other. I'm just kind of coming into this and I'm trying to get to know people and you know y'all I, I I'm I need to thank y'all seriously I need to thank y'all for having me on streams because y'all don't really know me from anyone I'm the outsider you know I don't feel as well I, I mean I've never really felt that way Speaking but I'm the outsider what do you think of tool and a perfect circle what do I think of what tool and a perfect tool. circle uh-huh Oh God! What do you uh, think of that? Yeah, what do you think of that? You have me stumped. <laughs> I don't know. It's um, prog. It's prog metal. Yeah. Or alternative. I honestly, don't think I've heard a lot from them. You haven't heard Tool. Well, I see. To be fair, I think I've heard them, but I don't know of any of their songs. <laughs> Like, I don't know the names of their songs. So it's not like I can put, oh, yeah, okay, this, I've heard this song, and this is this. Because my son listens to a hell of a lot of prog rock. And I've heard tons of stuff. But I don't really know enough to say one way or the other because I don't know the names of songs. So I can't really say. I'm sorry. Are you going to kick me off your stream now? No. Please don't. <laughs> No, no, you're I good. Really no, like, I can. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> contrary to popular belief, I can handle an opposing opinion. Okay, no, I just honestly, like, like I said, I, I, he was playing this one album one time over and over and over and over and over, and I must have heard it for six months, and I, I, I couldn't tell you who it was. I liked the music, but finally, I went in there and I said, "Who the hell is this? You keep playing them. I love the the songs, but I." And he said, "Oh, it's Disturbed." I went, okay, now I know. I now like I have a name of a band Disturbed is to nice. the music. Disturbed but, is a good band. I like Disturbed. Yeah. They're, uh, let's see, what was the, they did that one Genesis, Land of Confusion. I like it better than the Genesis version. I love their version of Land of Confusion. And it, what they did, yeah. what they did with the Sound of Silence is, oh, brilliant, so good. Brilliant. So that's why I'm kind of like, oh, God, what do I think of them? Because so I've heard so much stuff from his room, but I don't know that if, if I've actually heard them or not. Because a lot of stuff he plays, I don't know the name of it, but I've been you know listening to it for six months to a year. So, <laughs> Who's talking Ew. to a fish? I'm missing something here. What the? <laughs> we are. They're having their own conversation. We're over here and they're over there and they are just invested. So they are, yeah. They're just Let having fun in the conversation. <laughs> Y'all don't mind us. We're we're, we're good. <laughs> and she started into a Pandora's box full of giggles over here, like <laughs> Jeez. I think I just opened that up and that, now it's just everywhere. The laugh, the giggles <laughs> is everywhere. I hate my laugh. Uh, oh. I swear to God, this is the first time I've admitted that, but I do. I hate my laugh. <laughs> God. Oh. It's you're too loud. It's obnoxious. You're it's starting just... to sound like uh you start to sound like <laughs> butterfly. She hates her laugh too. And I'm like, no. Yeah. No. Is she a laugh laugh I, well? Uh she's a she just don't yeah, she kind of doesn't like her laugh because uh she's she's one of them uh crouching tigers, hidden snorters. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you get her going real good. She'll she'll snort. No, you're supposed to say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Well, well, well. If you've been on any of my streams, you you hear me wheeze every once in a while. I laugh so dang hard. Oh, Mark the infinitely tired has this freaking obsession with making me laugh so hard <coughs> I pee my pants, and I'm like. Dude, what? I was, I was gonna ask, how did you actually get here? Like, is is it oh, through okay. like Mark and that crew? 
No, no, no. Um, wow. Um, I found Loki's stream, his Mornings of Mischief stream, literally uh -huh. popped up in my recommendations one day. Okay. I didn't know who, who he was. I didn't know what the channel was about. And I forget, I don't even remember what he was discussing, but it was something, you know, fandom-ish. And I'm like, uh, you know, and I normally, I norm before that, I, I normally did not care for live streams because I, I, I would go in there and people would be chatting and doing their thing. And then, you know, the host would be talking and there'd be a guest. And I'm like, what am, what am I doing here? You know, they, they all know each other. You know how, how different communities, they have their regulars and, you know, oh, hey, how you doing? How's it going? You know, they're all saying hello in the chat and stuff. And, they're all, and you know. A lot of communities ignore newcomers. So no. that just wasn't my bag. I thought, oh, God, I don't know about this. Well, I said, well, let me let me just listen. Let me listen. It might be cool. You know, and, and I'm kind of I, I'm kind of into uh, Norse mythology. And, you know, I've had my, done a little bit of reading and, you know, I've kind of had the the Valhalla bug bit me before. And so I'm like, well. Okay, why not? Let me let me go in and check it out. And I this don't even remember if it was that stream or another, but I just kind of tentatively said, "Hey, y'all." Yeah, this and is they true. Were awesome. They this were so, so warm true. and nice, and so well, I went again and again and again. And next thing you know, here we are. Yeah, and that's literally what happened. You were you were over at uh, Loki's. You got on Loki's, and then and then you're and then you were here, and I'm like. <laughs> Yep. Well, I, I was on Purple's first. She had, because through, you know, obviously through Loki, I found Purple Valkyrie. Yeah, I used and... to reach for Purple before, before the, uh, like, till after the, uh, till the same show and uh, Purple split. Okay. Okay. So I don't know what had... happened to that. I still oh. don't know the answer to that one. I, yeah. Um, she had a, a, a was it a, a it was either a member stream or it was a, an open mic stream? It's probably open mic. I think it was open mic because I don't think I was a member at that point of her channel. And she's like, "Whoever wants to come up here, go ahead and come up." And I was like, "Hmm, should I or shouldn't I?" And I got to know a few people by that point. Like, um, you know, I talked to Golgo Thirteen a little bit. Um. Who That's right. You that were one? on Gold Goals uh, talking, uh, and if I remember correct, yeah, yeah, last week, last. Uh, hey, uh, what is today? Today's go Monday. Go. You still in the chat, man? <laughs> oh God. We, we we need to talk some anime turkey. <laughs> yeah, he gave me a very long list of things to watch, and I wrote every one of them down. So. We but need, anyway, we yeah, to, we need to get a bunch of the crew together. We need to get a bunch of the crew together and uh, do some uh, serious anime, like a bunch of bunch of the anime heads, and like get them What's, together get and uh, talk, talk talk some am anime. Yeah. Like I know speaker speaker wanted to get me on talking about uh, I forget what it was. Um, I think it was Goblin Slayer or something, Demon Slayer maybe. <laughs> But I'm like, I only saw like a couple episodes of that. But mm -hmm. from what I see, no, it was actually pretty, really good. It's now butterflies. On the other hand, she's the one that's still into anime hardcore. Okay. That's so I wa I watch, and pop culture archivist wants in too. He's like, you yeah. can add me on that anime thing too. Oh yeah! Did I, did I get it right? Did I get the voice about right? <laughs> did he do it right, Jed? <laughs> did I did I do you right, Jed? <laughs> you can get me in there too. <laughs> but anyway, <It's> <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> you know what? Here I am. <laughs> here I am. I snowballed and uh, here you here rock you are. like a hurricane. <laughs> Yeah, and I yeah. bet you when it was you and Pearl 
purple on the open mic. It was a, like a redheaded marathon, wasn't it? Um, well, let's see. That that day it was it was a lot of fun, but it wasn't as uh because there were other people on the panel. Like um Gogo was on there, I believe Archer Collin was on there. I think <laughs> was it seven that seventies? I think he was on there. Seventies yeah, was on there. Seventies Cam fan. Cam was yeah. on there. Um, yeah, Cam Cam was like in Spain, I think, Spain or Italy, and he was yeah, somewhere screaming. around there, somewhere like, over there. I know, where I... are you? <laughs> there was so much chatter. But uh, yeah, the last stream, uh, not pink and purple, but it was the Friday night, the Friday afternoon stream that Purple and I did. That just the dam broke open, and I was laughing at her laughing. You know, she was cutting loose and and just hee hawing, and I'm laughing at her. Because I'm like, damn, I never heard her cut loose quite like this. So it 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 was squirrels running around. It it was nuts that stream last Friday. <laughs> ah, there there we go. Seventies rock fan yeah, is 70s. part of the arc the uh, archivist pop culture arc. Yeah, the anarchists. <laughs> the anarchists. <laughs> is what we like now I got play. anarchy in the UK playing in my head. <laughs> Sorry. Because I want to be an Sing it, brother. Sing it. You know, okay, I got to say something. Okay. You know how hard it is to fucking replicate Sid, Sid Vicious? Oh, I can imagine. I would never try. I would never in a million years try. I you I, gotta have some weird like he's got some weird ass enunciation. Yeah, especially yeah. on anarchy in the UK, especially the whole Antichrist line. Yeah, he was one of a kind. Because it's because uh, it's like it's okay. Just listen to me try. I am the Antichrist. I am an anarchist. It's That's a, not bad. It's That's not bad. It's yeah. I've had years and years of practice to perfect that, though. <laughs> well, what do I know? I sing Jessica Rabbit on karaoke. I mean, I am the wrong person. To Are try you sure? Anything to yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. 22. Oh, <laughs> have you heard me sing that? Yes, oh, I have. Oh, and God. I and I about lost my shit because it was <laughs> it was man, I was sweating in my seat. That was hot. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, it's it's, it's surprisingly it is. I had a to put the fan thing. and the air conditioner boom blazing right on me. And like no, <laughs> it's a crowd pleaser. Got my got my blood a pumping that night. Woo. But you know, it's I don't honestly. I swear to God, I don't think it's me. I don't think it's my vocals. That but there's just something about that song. I think anybody could sing that song, and it would just it it would just be awesome, because it's a great song. And when you get good songs like that, that's what happens. A really, really pop culture archivist. Is this, yes, is this really a yes, thing? Yes. What? Yes. Is she, she too hot a whammon? Is that yeah, what it is? Her out of, they're taking her out of the Roger Rabbit ride. Yeah, that's they're taking her. They're nixing her. You know it's only a matter of time before they kill her. My <laughs> freaking idol. They're, yeah, she's getting the axe. Because she's not whammon enough, I guess. And we were just talking about her on Pink and Purple today. But she's not bad. She's just drawn she's that, way. that way. Exactly. Ooh. So it's their own damn fault. You need to stop that right now. <laughs> you started it. <laughs> yeah, you sure as hell finished it. <laughs> Ooh, got my... Whoa, I'm percolating <laughs> right now. Hello. <laughs> doink, doink. Turkey's done. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> I'm terrible. <coughs> I'm me. terrible. She's going to be. Uh, <laughs> Butterflies is going to end up putting my ass in horny jail tonight, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
do that to him, honey. Don't do that. Bitch, you're going to horny jail. <laughs> no, lovey, lovey for you tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> yeah, poor Jessica. God bless her. I love her so much. I do. She's my idol. She's total goals. <laughs> total goals. Uh, oh, there I go. I missed it. You, you put my song on the Discord. <laughs> of the anarchy in the UK. Oh. Yeah, if I open okay. another tab, I'm going to start lagging. So. Oh, that's me. I, I made sure I shut down all of my tabs because I usually have 20 of them open at a time. Yeah, I and even shut off my PlayStation for this. I, you know, I've ended up sending tweets to one person that was supposed to go to another, and I'm just like, shit, delete, delete. <laughs> you know, what? God. Get it before they see it. Nothing bad. Oh, my God. You no, know, I'm very oh. private that way. So it's like, what the hell? Anyway. <laughs> now, now, when I was a, uh, uh, when I was talking to you, well, when I met you in the chats, we we're gonna we're gonna go over this. Oh um, God! What? I got the idea. What did I say? From from what are your uh, what are your uh, chats in the YouTube? Something about oh. your. Uh, your boobs being made like getting into the room before you Why your feet did. Bring that up? We talked about that. I thought it was funny. No, it was no, 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 no. Okay, no, no, okay. No, no, no. Let, I'll, oh I'll my stop. God. I'll draw the line. Let no. Let me explain uh, it. No, no. It's out okay. there now. Okay. Oh yeah. Face Might as well. Yeah. Face what music it now. was is okay. I remember that. Oh Jesus! All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit. I was, I've been, okay. I've been exercising since, what the hell are we in? September? Since, since the end of June. Well, well actually since before that, <coughs> uh, you know, I've been trying to lose Sorry. some weight. I've been trying to, you know, get fit, get some more stamina, that kind of thing. Yeah. So almost every day I've been wearing a sports bra and ladies back me up on this. If y'all have ever worn a sports bra. A well-fitting one. It pushes the girls down and it keeps them in place. So when you're exercising or doing your aerobics or whatever, excuse me for being crude, y'all, they don't flop everywhere and get in your way. Okay. Are we all on the same page? Sports bra flattens the girls. Yeah. Well, one day, <laughs> God, one day I was sick of wearing a damn sports bra. And I wanted to wear a girly one. So I, it wasn't no expensive thing, but it was kind of like a little Victoria's Secret-esque lacy kind of job. Does she you have know, any secrets of, left? I mean. <laughs> this one kind of pushed the girls in and up. Okay. Well, I felt like my breasts were torpedoes because I wasn't used to wearing a regular bra. I was used to them being pushed down. So I made a comment and no, it wasn't in a chat. It was, I remember it was a tweet. I made a tweet about it and I can't believe I did. I was just, you know, I try and be a little bit open on my Twitter and I just kind of talk about my day and you know, stuff that's happened. So I, I put it on there that I've been wearing the sports bra, I've been exercising, I wore a regular bra, and I felt like the girls were entering a room 10 minutes before I was. Well, my God, that started a shitstorm of, <laughs> really? Oh, my God, picture or it didn't happen. I mean, I was like, <laughs> But then some guys were generally like, oh well, why? What's the difference between <laughs> They wanted to know the details. They wanted to know what... Sports bra and regular bra. Oh, God. She got me. <laughs> Sorry. She got me. Oh, my God. So that's what that's about. So, no, I don't have breasts the size of torpedoes, y'all. That was, you know, just I was using a, uh, an analogy, a euphemism, a metaphor, a whatever the hell you want to call it. <laughs> And, you know, the next day I went back to wearing sports bras because I was doing more exercising. So there we go. 
now Arwen, the story of Arwen's boobs are all going to be all over the internet. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Any other questions you want to ask me? What's my blood on, type? On um, more with <laughs> tweets with context. Next time on Darth Aster. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody clip anything. No clipping. Where's brightest day? He's he's he he does all those little he narrows everything down. No, honey, you can't. I think do he's that. still on a slant. I reach for the slant. Yeah, he's probably still. On okay, the slant. all right, good. We're safe. <laughs> We're safe. Jeez. Oh. You can tell I'm tired. I'm just like, oh, ask me anything, I'll answer it. You know, unless it's like intensely, intensely personal, and I'm like, mm, I'm not going there. Otherwise, I'm like, I'm surprised it. you went through <laughs> with that. Now I was like, eh. Hey, yeah, I had to get the story straight. You open the door. Yeah, yeah I open the door. Straight. I'd rather people yeah. hear it from me than gossip around the community. God, did you hear about Arwen's tits? Oh, my God. Did you hear about that bra? Oh, my God. No. We She's said got huge bazooka. No. Right. No, it is set straight. It is. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is out oh. there from me. So now y'all know the story. Okay. God. As long as we don't vote for Pedro, I guess. <laughs> yes. No, I'm kidding. No. Vote for Pedro. I have a question for you. Yo, what's up? That we were talking about in the green room. Why are people surprised that I cuss? And you said you knew why. And you were going to tell me. Because I genuinely don't know why. People seem genuinely shocked. Certain ones, others are. I like, know I was. Why, though? Do I come I don't, across as some little demure, you know? I don't know. I guess it's I guess it's the accent and you sound like such a southern belle, I guess. It's just, <laughs> yes, it's, yes. You're a little a little antebellia, you know. No, that that's the people misunderstand southern women. They really do. I mean, yeah, we can do the manners and we can do the, you know, the the mint juleps and the the big floppy hats as well as, you know, anyone else. But um, we tend to get a little gritty here in the South, to be honest with you. I guess it's a, it's a well-kept secret because I was shocked. First time I was playing Fortnite, uh, I was playing with Dadman and his wife and uh, I believe their daughter. Uh, or it may have been, when was the very first time I played? Yeah, I think that's who it was with. And I let an F-bomb rip. And, and he's like, now he's like, oh, no, I knew you did it all the time. I was like, bullshit. You were like, oh, I thought you were such a lady. <laughs> like, I got a gun in my hand and I'm mowing down opponents. You think I'm not going to say fucker once or twice? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Give me a break. Oh, that's like the first time. That's like the first time I put butterflies on doom. She was like. F you, yes. Fers, and black, black, yes. black. <laughs> exactly. It just comes with the territory. And now Jeez. I, I, uh, no holes barred. <laughs> yeah. They're used to me now, though. They're like, oh, they're there. Uh, and they join in. So it's all good. It's all That's good. Like, <laughs> the way it is. It, it really is. And I play with Jed a lot. Well, you know, Jed's mouth. You know, he, he doesn't hold back. And even Mary, you know, Mary's game room, she doesn't hold back either. Uh, uh, now she she does not do cussing on her. She does for the her, streams, I mean, not, but yeah, because of the charity involved. You know, she wants to keep it safe for work and all because there's a charity attached to her stream. But when she's on rambling stream, you know, well she's not as bad as that. But rambling, look at rambling. He's got a mouth like a drunken truck driver. You know, and and so it's she's used to it. But yeah, you can put a gun in her hand, and she'll f bomb somebody too. It's kind of cathartic, actually. So, but see, I, I, th we, I, I think, uh, think it's just customary when you play. I think it's just customary when you play a first-person shooter. Drop <laughs> if you're not dropping a few f bombs, you're not having fun. I agree. I agree. That's just although God, I hate it when I get shot. That's when I'm really like, oh, you son of a bitch. And then I don't know if you've ever played <laughs> Fortnite, but they'll shoot you right, and then you're you're not quite dead. You're just kind of crawling along the floor. No, I don't do anything. Fortnite. I don't do okay. Fortnite, but I have played Quake 3 Arena. Okay. Competitively. So you're crawling along on the floor and they're like, you know, they shake you so they can get the thing to find out where your where your team is. And then they throw you back down and you can't do anything until you're revived. 
Well, some people will walk, well, they'll run away. And I'm like, you son of a bitch, you come back here and be a man and shoot me. You kill me. You got me down here. You need to finish me off. And then that will piss me off. So you just, you can't win <laughs> with Fortnite. It is what it is. <laughs> so anyway, what were we talking about? <laughs> um, Before I derailed it. <laughs> God. No, this is a, this is a getting to know you tab. That's what this is. Now, to be fair though, if I, when I go on streams, I will read the room. And if the host is not using language, I will not use language like that because I, I let the host set the tone. Kind of like, kind of like echo base. Shout out to right. Echo Base Network. I would never cool in dudes. a million years use a bad word on that. If I, you know, if I was ever on that stream, I would never do that because I, I respect the host. That's their channel. That's their stream. They yeah. get to, you know, say what goes and what doesn't. And I'm totally fine with that. We, yeah. you know, I'm cool so. with that too. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes even I just let one slip and, and, and I'll, I'll get the notorious no, no. From them, yeah, mm -hmm. and like, um, and there's some people I'm just not comfortable cussing around, like, like, like clobbering times. I don't know why he's clobby, and I, you know, and I, I, he he might cuss like a sailor off stream. I don't know, but I've never heard him do that on his stream. He and must, he he loves the original Fantastic Four, and uh, yes. one of his favorites is the thing. That's that's why he's clo it's clobbering times. Right, right. And when I saw he was in our um, chat today for our stream, um, oh my cat's crying. Hang on, come here, baby. I'll let you out in a minute. So if y'all hear some meowing, just ignore. It. She's trying to get out. I just shut the rest of them out because some of them just get on my laptop and wreak havoc. But um, yes, I was like, oh God, I've used bad language. And I knew he was there. I said hello to him. And then as we were talking, I kind of got into the stream and I, and I wasn't able to pay as much attention to the chat as I wanted. And Purple was kind of keeping track of that. And um, I just, things happen. I'm like, oh, Cloppy, please don't think less of me <laughs> because I cuss. I love oh. Bobby's a sweetheart. Yeah. So anyway, it is what it is. I am who I am. And that's just, you know, it's been a hard road to get here to be. Who I, I am what I am. I am what I am. And I am. And that's all that I am. Yep. Come here. Come on. Don't Man, cry. I miss, I miss Rob Williams. I don't know about you. I do too. Yeah, I do. That whole that thing was so That man sad. was funny. He really was. He really, really was. I and, think that um, was one of them that hit me the hardest. I think, like that, and, and Carrie think, Fisher. Uh, yeah, and the way and Robin Eddie. Williams died was was just so much more compounded. It made it Ch so much more tragic. Chester Chester Bennington didn't help either. Yeah, Carrie Fisher. Oof, that was a rough one. Yeah, Chester Bennington, anyway. lead lead singer of Lincoln Park. Man, that man, that man could sing. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. And I know about them through my kids. They they love that group. And you know, my son has kind of told me all the ins and outs of band of member changes and who died and who didn't. And you know, I'm like, check okay. this out. You're you're gonna love this. Let's see if I can actually get it without like totally doxing myself. You're probably going to be like, oh, my God. <laughs> I might. <laughs> Had a lot of surprises this week. Speaking of Lincoln Park, I actually got a hold of something awesome. Let's see. I'm going to turn this here camera on and I'm going to totally dox myself. But let's see. Oh, that is cool. It has the uh, Hybrid Theory B-Side Rarities. Uh-huh. It has the original Hybrid Theory. Oh, my God. 
and it has the reanimation remixes. That is nice. That is very nice. All in one box. Where did you find that? Um, um, let's just say I love Merch Bar. Okay, fair enough. Good. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful set. Oh, no, it's me. <laughs> hey, good to see you. Good. To, well, good to see your avatar, I guess. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's good to see you. Today. <laughs> I hate to do this. I gotta let her out. She is. She is about to have a fit. Hang on, just go second. for it. Right I got it. <laughs> I'm on a live stream, Kitty. What are you doing? Well, while she's uh, while she's uh, doing that, I do have something to show the rest of you. I know I was talking about this album, how how it was being out, and how it was coming out, and. Uh, I finally have. All right, she's done. <laughs> it took me, it's okay. It took me a while to actually get. But I do have the new Iron Maiden album. Oh, nice. Do you really? Yep. I'm uh, about to put it on the screen right now. Boop. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Eddie! Oh, Very here's nice. what's really cool. It's like a trifold, and it's like the art is insane. They always had the best artwork. They, they really have did. the best art album artwork. Yeah, absolutely. The, and the e okay, even the sleeves are like gorgeous. just amazing. Yeah. Works of art. Definitely works of art. Well done. You got some good I stuff there. Yeah, there. This is like three albums in here. The, even the middle section has a LP in it. That's awesome. Oh, butterfly, <coughs> butterfly! You you do art too? I I would love to see it. I would absolutely love to see it. Oh yeah, I'm always down for getting to know other artists. Absolutely. Yeah, she. Uh, That's amazing. That's good. She, She's the one that originally drew up uh, Jedi Bill's original uh, avatar. Really? Um, oh, logo. Okay. His logo. Oh, that's awesome. Heck yeah. I'd, I'd love to see your stuff. I'm always down for that. I need to get, uh, I've, I've been, uh, I've been awfully remiss. I haven't been doing any artwork lately and I need to, I get in these periods and I just hate it where it's like, I feel the muse and that's all I can do. For yeah. you know, days and weeks on end is just get in there and do artwork, you know, brr, until I just burn myself out, and then I, the muse goes away, and then I have to stop for a while until it comes back, because yeah, then by then I'm burned is. out, I'm tired, I just don't want to freaking look at another art piece, and that's how I get so many going, and and I have a bad habit of that. I need to to stick with one piece and finish it and move on, but I'll I'll get inspired and I'll start something new and I'll have something not finished. And I don't want to get back in the cycle. That's kind of where I am right now. I've been I've been writing this uh this weird tale, the uh, frantic writings of Theodore Pendergrass. I don't know if you've heard of, about me writing it or anything, but uh, no, I didn't realize I've you been, did. You were doing. I've that. been yeah. It's basically in the veins of uh the old Weird Tales magazine type stories. Mm -hmm. heavily inspired by H.P. Lovecraft and his stories. Okay, okay, yeah. That kind of feel, huh? That style? Yeah, even using the old bros. Nice. And are you, what do you, what are you, are you, do you have any plans with that? Are you going to, like, write to get published, or are you just doing it for the joy of doing it, or? I'm, uh, right now, I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it. Um, I'm good. hoping, I'd like to get it. I'd like to get it published, but I don't think I've got the got the funds for that. See, I uh, I, I have mixed feelings about that. Uh, I know. Are you talking about self publishing? Is that what you're talking about? Or are you talking about like paying a publisher to do it? Because you should. They if they want your work, they should pay you. You shouldn't have to pay them. But I, you know what, I. I that's not an area I'm knowledgeable in, so I don't know. 
Did we what? lose you again? Oh, you still there? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Okay, I couldn't hear you. I was like, oops, am I talking over him? And I Yeah, just there's the it. No, I'm I'm kind of lagging because I'm trying to share the screen. There oh, was okay. the uh email that uh that we came up with yeah. for for the stream, but uh we couldn't uh, get it up. Was it the wrong size? I might have done it the wrong size. I'm sorry. I couldn't uh Well, hang on. I thought I saw it up there. I thought I saw it on a, maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. Uh oh, he's lagging again, y'all. I can't hear him. What should I do? Should I read the chat again? <laughs> oh my God. I think we've been derailed for minute one. If he's talking and y'all can hear him and I'm talking over him, I do apologize. <laughs> I just can't hear a word he's saying. Unless, he, unless no one can. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, y'all. <laughs> Let's go to the chat. Let's see what y'all are saying. Uh, I see some of y'all, y'all are digging what I'm saying about the artwork, about starting something new and then having, you know, or working with the muse and then burning out and then turning to something new. Uh, is that what y'all are going at? Because that, that is me. And I, I bet writers go, through, I bet every creative person goes through that. Um, you know, we all put a little piece of ours. <laughs> Catman, Erwin showed how cool. Yeah. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Oh, he just froze. Okay, thank you, thank you, honey. I uh, so we'll just we'll we'll have a chat. Um, but yeah, I think a, I think a lot of creative people do that. I think artists, writers, uh, musicians, they you know they have a period where they're inspired and then they just they get down and they almost burn themselves out on it. And it's like, damn, you know, if if I could find that happy medium where I'm doing artwork and I can pace myself you know, sit down, do it for a few hours, take a break, sit down, do it for a few hours more and then quit for the day, you know, just say, okay, I'm going to work five, six hours on this one piece and then I'm going to quit. And then tomorrow I'll come back at the same time and I'll start it again. And, uh, there we go. Give, okay. Give him a couple seconds. He has to reboot. That's cool. We're good. We're all good. You, you do what you need to do and come back. You'll your stream. No problem. But anyway, so I don't know. No, I just, wait, wait, uh, wait, wait. Huh? Am I back? Yeah, you're back. I hear you. I hear you. Okay. Okay. I tried to share that. This is what I say. My hardware is not good enough to even share a screen. Okay. Well, we're all good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> there is no freaking way I'm running OBS on this. <laughs> yeah. It's like I want to do PC gaming so bad and stream it and have fun with you ladies and gents, but it's like my computer's like, hell no, I won't go. Yeah. Well, it's it's all good. We uh we entertained ourselves. We're fine. You know, Babbitt's again, we'll go with the flow. <laughs> we, we, yes, Weezy is having tech. <laughs> No deer in the headlights here. <laughs> Only for a second, but we all recovered pretty quickly. Wheels turning, but hamster is dead. <laughs> yes. I repeat, wheel is turning, but hamster is dead. Dead, I said. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, what else do you want to talk about? <laughs> What are we talking about, Willis? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're just shooting the shit. <laughs> oh, it's been been that kind of day. Yeah, it's been oh, a God. heck of a week. I don't know why, but it feels like a Friday. I wish it was. It feels like a Friday. What? <laughs> what the <laughs> heck? I think he's I think he's talking about your now avatar. You don't really have an avatar. It's that round with the center. 
motif. I, I, I have an avatar. That but is it's basically not on, honey. The, we can't see it. It's not on? No. No. How's it not on? I don't know. I, I can't see what you're doing. <laughs> I can't tell oh, you. What. I mean, it's like, I guess it's the StreamYard one. There we go. Okay, now you're back. Okay, is yeah. this better? Yeah, there you go. Am I good? <laughs> you're back. You're good. All right. Man, <laughs> it really did mess with my stream yard hardcore, it did. didn't it? It did. It knocked Holy. your avatar out. Holy yep. Azathoth. It really effed my shit. <laughs> uh, if, if I had known that was intentional, I, it, like the spinach in the teeth, I would have told you right off. I got well, no spinach was that. definitely in the teeth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it was, but I didn't know. I thought, well, maybe. I got knocked it. all the way to the spinach fields. It was bad. <laughs> yes, you did. But you're back now, so it's Unfortunately, good. I took out half the soy. <laughs> good to know. Them soy beef oh, my God. I, I heard that thing about, about uh, Jessica Rabbit. I went fucking nuclear. I oh, went I and I saw red. I was I haven't been that pissed off in a long time. And I mean sincerely. I now was, warrants playing in my head. What? <laughs> Why? Which one? Because I saw red. Oh, okay. Now well, and it, I opened up the door. Yeah, it wasn't quite that that soft and you know, no, this was this was I'm we were talking about today. When I mentioned if, if you know, if, about Lord of the Rings, if they screw with that and Purple was like, oh, we're going to see a mushroom cloud. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I went mushroom cloud today. I'm scared for the wheel of time. Oh, I don't, God. Are I they don't doing know. that? Are they making that? Yes, that is going to be a thing. Yes, it's it's going to be. I don't know. I can't remember if it's a film series or it's TV series, but it's one of the two. You know why I worry about that? Because there's so many damn books. And so many characters, and so I don't know like how they're going to do it. That's like Terry Pratchett and his the uh oh that series, Discworld. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes. Me and Purple were talking about this, and like, oh my god, this is I, just going to be. Yeah, I don't know horrible. how they're going to do it. I mean, look, okay, look at look at what they did with Game Game of Thrones, okay? The first four or five seasons I thought were really good, and I was hooked into that show. I really liked the whole Arya storyline with the, the faceless ones. Yeah, okay. That, that was, like, pretty damn cool. I mean, that's a good way to be anonymous. You just don't have a damn face. But then they just... Oh my God! This the season eight. Oh, what were they doing? And even some of season uh, parts of six and seven were like, okay, well, y'all need you've gotten off the road a little bit, but you're still on the horse. So let's just move it back a little. You know, give your horse a carrot, get it back on the road, whatever you need to do. But they didn't. By by season eight, they were off the horse. They were in another state. They, I don't know. This, yeah, and that was this is what I'm afraid of. And an unfinished book. Imagine what they're going to do with something as big as like Wheel of Time or Discworld. Yeah, this is what I'm afraid of. That they're going to give the Lord of the Rings treatment to the Wheel of Time. So am I. So am I. And I know it, it's technically not Lord of the Rings because they're doing the first age. I get that. Is it the first age? I, I believe so. It's the first or, is it or the second. second age. It might be the second age, actually. It might be the second age. That way they could yeah, tie it to. Right. I think it's the second age. So I don't need to see a young Gandalf running around banging some elf or some, you know, I just, I, I don't need that in my life. Uh, I could do with Gandalf um, spending his time wasting away, smoking some long bottom leaf. <laughs> no, that would be cool. <clears throat> Excuse me, you got me. Uh, <laughs> I need my cough drop. Oh, but, yes, they're okay. I'd be okay with that. But or or God, if it's a female Gandalf, uh, uh, I'll lose my or, shit. Or, Loki tricked me. Or unlike Loki. the stand, or yeah. unlike the stand where uh, where uh, the good guys can't dream anymore. 
Um, right. Stu, Stu and uh, Glenn had to go uh, smoke pot and get high for that dialogue. God. I'm like, okay. Not that I'm against getting high or anything. It's just. But it has to suit the character. They were drinking. You know, it has to They make found sense. bottles and they were drinking. Yeah, I know. But yeah, lo- I, when trashed. I was on uh, Loki Stream, in the we were book, talking about that. In and the he book. Said, they were trashed. Were they really? Yeah, they were. They were. They were. They were pissed drunk. God. Well, I don't know. I just I I worry about that. I really do. Because right, because you never know what they're going to do. You never know who they're going to cast. Um. You never know how they're going to take a story and say, okay, well, it was for you know creative purposes. And it fit better that we did this with the story. And it's something that the characters would never even in a million years do. It's not even true to who they are. That's the kind of stuff I'm worried about with Lord of the Rings. I think the only other good thing I have to say about CBS is the stand is who who better to get banged by the devil than Amber Turd? So, you know, you're talking about the remake? Yeah. Okay. I, I've, I've only seen the... Um, the original, the ninety. Yeah, she one. played a. Yeah, she played a. The Nadine Cross character. Okay. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that's appropriate. I could, <laughs> yeah. That Who better to get plowed by the devil, right? There you go. No, I didn't see the remake because I was like, yeah. I watched it just, just because it's Stephen King. Yeah, it's a good story. It's a great I'm, story, and I loved the movie. Uh, uh, the I, original movie. I could I was cringing the whole way. I was like, what on God's green earth made you think that you needed to do this again? And Stephen, Mr. King, what the hell were you thinking right, rewriting this shit again? Yeah. It was fine the way it was. That's okay. That's what I don't get either. And by the way, I this, don't know if, any, if anybody... About how we have to... We have to remake stuff and do stuff different for the modern audience. No, you don't. I got Not another. when it's something that's been around for years and years and years. Yeah, and already I got another. Has an established fan base. Did you know he even rewrote the book to uh, to cater to this new ending? So there's a third, another rendition of the stand out there. Uh. So if you want, if you want the good version, get the old like. 98 to 2000 version yeah. complete and uncut any later than that you you a, a rewrite because yeah, he he's already rewrote, and then he rewrote it again for this one yeah well more power to him you know whatever but it's unnecessary and we you could be creating something new and fresh and different I did say Amber Turd. But, uh, I did no, say Amber Turd. Yeah. Do stuff you've already done. Uh, whatever, dude. Okay. I'm annoyed tonight. I'm just, <laughs> I'm hearing all this. Sh- I was pissed earlier just seeing red hair flaming. Well, well, I hate now to, I'm just annoyed. I hate to keep you on the anger train, but. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm already there. Chugga chugga choo choo, mother. <laughs> Le choo choo. All aboard the anger train. What fresh hell do you have to share with me now? <laughs> no, I think I'm good for now. Oh, Unless I just think of something. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. All right. <laughs> Get your glass of haterade and aboard the the hate train. Look, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. It 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 do, really does take a lot to get me that mad. And you know, and with all the nerfing of the IPs that we've had, uh, you know, I've shared in some rants like everyone else. I mean, you know, hell, I I I'm at Loki's every morning, and sometimes he goes off. He gets sick of it, and he goes off. We're all you know, sick of it. Um, that's this. That's why we're in <laughs> way. She goes <laughs> off. You know, but she's a little more calm and elegant about it. But you know, we just yeah, we hear this stuff and we're tired of it. 
But for the most part, I try and keep it in perspective because we do have things that we love and we do have things that aren't being touched, at least not the original things. And we can still enjoy that. But damn, some of this stuff tonight I've heard is just enough to make me just steam from the ears. Yeah. And here I am, the uh, the foul mouth juxtaposition. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Just blame Haster. Blame Haster for everything. Except for with Cthulhu. <laughs> when Cthulhu breaks loose, that's not me. I'm probably going to be like, shut up, brother. You're bothering me. <laughs> yes. Leave me alone. Go away. Oh, I don't know. We just, we have to just wait it out and see what happens. You know, hope for the best and expect for the worst. That's a suck way to look at it, but this is what Hollywood is done to us now. So we're kind of tainted. Yep. And that's where we got that. Uh, I think we got like this tainted love hate thing going on with Hollywood right now. Yeah. We love it because they entertain us, but we like, we we hate it because what they're doing to our franchises and and it the politics and agendas that they inject into it it's just can't you just tell a fucking cohesive story for once i mean yeah it used to be about good escapism and when you start injecting everyday life and the things that you have to deal with 24 seven into the stories and into the franchises, it it's, it's exhausting. It's just tiring. Uh Oh, did we lose him again? No, I'm it. still here. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. Stephen well, King, like Stephen King, loved the old, like the older version. Yeah, he it was around it. for how many he, years after he, he wrote it? Yeah, he did it because he wanted to cater to Hollywood, and we know who Hollywood's catering to. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. People who think Jessica Rabbit's offensive because she's a shapely, beautiful woman, and she owns it. That's feminism, people. When you're when you are a woman and you know you're a woman and you own what you are and you make no excuses for what you are. That's, that's real feminism. feminism. That's not that's what they're trying to about. push on us. So. Yeah, no, exactly. And that's why women like me, who still believe in, you know, you can be feminine and be powerful. And watch it, watch that's it, watch why it. That's why we get pissed off. Watch as soon as this stream's over, it's like, oh, look, well, we can't, we can't trust Darth Haster anymore. He's a, one of the male feminists. No, no, that's they, they have taken, they've taken that and they've corrupted it, and they've turned it in for what they want to be, which is to, you know, hate all men. Women have to look like men. Women have to talk like men. Women have to be men, but yet they hate men, and it's like, well, why are you becoming the thing chew, that you hate? Do they chew tobacco like a man? Spit like a man. Gosh, I just, and I don't know. Burp and fart like a man. Yeah, it is frustrating. <laughs> but, you know, fortunately, there's enough of us to say enough is enough. If you want to live that way, you go ahead. But and leave me the hell alone. Give birth like a man. <laughs> did you hear that? Yes, I did. Yes, men are giving birth now. Yes, I did. And it's no longer menstruating women it's menstruating persons and i have nothing against what are they calling mothers now then i mean i'm confused now like birthing people birth people birthing people yeah birthing people it, that's kind of like almost what i call uh what i call my ex i call her egg donor <laughs> god how do we get on this? <laughs> I don't even know. But you know, I, I, I've got nothing against what somebody wants to do with their life. I really don't. You do you. And just don't just, push it on me. You know, well, just don't don't tell me that I can't be who I want to be. I have no problem with you being who you want to be. I have a trans nephew who I'm extremely close to. 
you know, I have no, no problem with his lifestyle choice. That's not choice. You know what I'm trying to say? And people are going to, they're going to ding me for that. It's not a choice. You know what I mean? I have no problem with him coming out and saying, Hey, I identify as a man. I'm fine with that. You know, I've talked to him about it. It, It's just, my family's like, okay, you, you are who you are. That's fine. But as of yet, he is not an activist. There's a difference between somebody just wanting to live their life and being an activist that says, no, you have to change your life and you have to look this way and you have to act this way and I think you have to do this. To what make we're trying to get possible. to is, I think what we're really, really trying to get down to is mm-hmm. that this stuff does not need to be an entertainment. No, I don't. I don't exactly. If you want to live that not life, an activist, they don't want it there either. For the love you know, of me, live that life. Community who does, they don't want it there. They don't want anything political life. there. Live your life. Live that life. Yeah. Own it. Yeah, absolutely. Live your truth. But don't. But let me live mine. Let don't push it into our our nerd culture our uh our mythology our cultural myths and yeah all our stuff like star wars and all that all those other franchises we know and love don't don't do that create your own stories come up with something really good and brilliant and you know cage it in a way to where it's it's organically part of the story and you know what? No one will have any problem with that. But the minute you come in to a franchise that's been established for years and you change shit and you say, okay, well, I'm sorry, but women are oppressed in this franchise. So we have to change it all. And we have to make the women, the men and the men have to be soy. And, and yet, no, you don't go write your own damn story, but you got to make it good. And see, that's the problem. They don't know how to make it good. They don't Your talent the system. writers don't have the talent. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going off. No. That's refreshing. No, you're good. I was <laughs> okay, like sure. I'm good. I was like, you go, sister. <laughs> yes, Queen! Yes, Brian! Yes! Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, queen. Oh, God. I said that to Mark the Infinite Tired one time on a chat. He was like, no. <laughs> Don't say that to me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. You I, think I, I think I was there. I think I was there. I think that you was were. Anyway, look, it is what it is, you know, and that's why we we have to hold on to what to what we have and we have to enjoy it and embrace it because you can't constantly live in that cycle of frustration and anger because it will eat you alive. And you know what? There's not a damn thing we can do about it right now. They're going to do Hollywood's going to do what they're going to do. We can fight against it, but you got to keep perspective and you have to enjoy what you have. Oh boy. Here we go. When am I going to come out of the closet and say that I'm an Eldritch? No, I'm not an Eldritch being. I just play one of you. Thank you very much. Tentacle hugs, everybody. Oh, Lord. But that's pretty much. And that and that's actually one of the reasons why Purple and I had decided we really wanted to try our best to keep pink and purple light and keep it more, uh, you know. Pink and purple. Yeah, in the afternoon, it's our new show. You you didn't know about that? Oh, wait. Did you miss it? <laughs> wait. Yeah, I must have missed it. I yeah, must have missed the announcement season. for Pink and Purple. That's okay. Hey, honey, that's okay. We're going to have more shows. We're, and, and you know what? It's up on my channel. You can watch it whenever you want. That's fine. Oh, you, you, have, have, you, a you have a channel. But yeah, people were asking us, is it going to be a serious show or is it going to be you know, more lighthearted and, and our, it might have some serious elements to it, but for the most part, we just, we want to keep it light and positive because there's, it, there's so much just today. Where is it going to be goofy like this dream? Cause this is, this uh, is something we else. We swirled out a little bit today. <laughs> we really did. Her and I kind of, uh, yeah, we had a few moments. 
<laughs> We've been fanboying and fangirling back and forth. Like it was a little more structured, but we squirreled out. <clears throat> it wasn't yeah, as, quite as squirrely as the Friday stream on Purples, but so it's like not as squirrely as Christmas fruit cake. Squirrely. Not quite that squirrely. <laughs> Yeah, not quite that. Not about but as nutty. We did enjoy ourselves and we did laugh. And damn it, I, I wanted to go back and I wanted to read the chat because since it was my first time running a stream, I asked Purple, I said, Look, can you really keep an eye on the chat? Because I, I you know, I, I, something shiny runs by and I get distracted and I don't want to get distracted. Squirrel. So she did. And I saw, uh, I saw the chats that she pulled up on the stream. But I miss the bulk of the, I miss the chat conversations and I live for those. My God, I live for those completely. So I went back and I played it just to see the chat and it's not there. The chat is not there. Thank you, honey. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I will. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's going to come up or not. I don't know if, if the replay chat, if my if the button is pressed. I don't know. But I'm really Oh, my gosh. What are they doing, Nicki Minaj? I don't know. She's another one that apparently she came out and was agreeing with some people that should not have, you know, that, that the woke were like, well, you can't agree with them. Freedom. Bleh. And now they're. Well, culture got you. Her. It's insanity. It's it is just fucking insanity. Everybody should be for freedom. I don't care if you're left, if you're right, if you're center, if you're back, if you're front, if you're behind, if you're under, if you're on top. Everybody should be for freedom. And 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 to not allow corporations to censor freedom of speech. But no, that's not apparently that's not the way it is today. And I have, a, and I have a big problem with that. I have a massive ass problem with that. I think and we I'm all have massive ass problems with that. Gonna, yeah, we're all going to be canceled for it. But you know what? I don't give a shit. Cancel me, bitch. I'm going to stand up for freedom. And I'm by God, you I'm going to damn stand near up for canceled me on Twitch. I'm not telling that line again. I'm here to fucking stay. Yeah. You know, but I'm you know what's funny stay. is. We are fighting for their freedom, too, and they don't realize that. We're fighting for their freedom to say and be activists and say what they want and, you know, point fingers at people and call them Yahtzees and phobes and all this. We're fighting for that freedom, damn it, for them to be able to do that. And they don't realize it, and it pisses me off. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> God. Okay, well, I, I should have known that someone was going to come up with that. <laughs> freedom of speak. Yeah, freedom of speak. So it is what it is. I got to get Jed on here. One. You do. I agree. I agree. <laughs> There's lots of people that would actually just, y'all would have fun. All y'all would just be great. Just let me know when you do it and I'll watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I think you just want to do it. Never mind. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, my brain is too tired for this. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm getting tired too. My brain goes straight to the dirty. What it's a hell of a day. Oh, yeah, anyway. I'm, gonna, I'm probably just going to get canceled for this stream alone. Oh he's, my God, I mean, he's just I a mean. horny misogynist bastard. We need to cancel him. Oh my God, he needs to be canceled so bad. Uh, see, I don't know because I grew up with brothers, but this that kind of shit just has never bothered me ever. You yeah. know, if if somebody is getting if somebody is getting too obnoxious, I have no problem telling them to back off. You know, I will say, look, you're just being a dick now. You know, you're not being cute. You're not being funny. You're not being flirty. You're being a dick and you need to stop and you need to get away from me because I hit. No, I don't really, but they don't know that, you know, and it's just like, but for the other stuff, come on. If, if you, I'm going to go on another rant. I'm going to stop before I do. 
I'm, I'm hijacking your stream and I'm sorry. I'll shut up. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, no, by all means, let it out. Shit. I was just kind of taking over. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. But yeah, I'm not down for that. I'm I'm not down on people downing men at all. That's ridiculous. My God, grow, grow up, find real problems, something. Ugh. And you know, my late husband was a man's man. He was very much a man. You know, and do, I do we need that. to play the orgasmo song for it? <laughs> no, I am no. a man, a man, my man. My man. <laughs> We are good. <laughs> I love that song. That song's great. I think I have it on my Spotify somewhere. I did. I did have the uh, actual. Uh, I had the CD, but it, I had it in my uh, my CD case that I like carry just about everywhere with me mm -hmm. because I liked it so much. And uh, it that that it's got legs. It's got legs. <laughs> it got legs. I don't know where the hell it went. I have a feeling I know who took it, though. Oh, it walked away and left you behind, huh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, what else do you want to talk about? <laughs> I don't know what, what you want to talk about. What do you want to talk about? I don't know what I want to talk about. What do you want to talk about? Mm. <laughs> any other any other bands you actually yeah yeah hell yeah. yeah i love heart i love blackmore's night um and i'm a huge abba fan and man i am rocking i don't care to, I, i'm fine to admit it they are together again after 40 damn years and they sound as yes. good as the day they broke up and i cried like a damn little girl when i heard their two new songs i bawled like a baby Wait, they've already like got two. two new songs out? They, have, they dropped two new singles. Yep. Uh, what was, uh, let's see. Don't, what was the name of that one song? Hang on, let me look it up. Oh, Abba's new singles. Abba's new singles. Abba's new singles. I'll look it up, honey, because I know if you have any more tabs open, it might Oh, I can handle computer. the tabs. It's when I share tabs. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, Abba's new singles. God, I've only seen. Okay, I still have faith I, in I you. I can share your tabs. Down. And don't shut me down. <laughs> don't shut you down. Okay. Yeah, Got don't it. shut me down. And um, what did I say? I, I still have faith in you. And one is very beautiful and melodic and positive and uplifting. Uh, they're both actually positive lifting. And the other one since, has more since of a winter, to it. Since songs not? Seriously. I don't know. The winner takes it all was our generation's um, someone like you from Adele. That was our generation's heartbreak song. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you're right about that one. Just God, give me a beer and let me put me in the corner and let me cry. Oh, beautiful song though. It's probably one of their most popular. Are you familiar with like America's Got Talent and The Voice? Yeah, oh, more have, America's Got Talent and The Voice. Have yeah. you heard Puddles Pity Party? I have not. He's got he's got this mix of Adele's Hello with ELO's telephone line and it just oh my Ooh. god. Like a mashup? Yeah, like a smush he calls it a smush up. A smush up. Okay. I could see those songs going together. And I like both of them, so I'd I'd be for it. Yeah, but he's got this like like kind of dark kind of somber dark delivery and his vocals it just whew, gives me goosebumps <laughs> sorry i couldn't i couldn't do the mute button fast enough i'm so sorry yeah that, that's okay i've been doing that on and off like, <laughs> i felt I'm it like, coming on but i thought it went away and it didn't sorry, that's another song i like real well lightning what? crashes live i love that song <laughs> Who does that? Lightning crashes and old mother cries. I have never heard that one. I bet you if I, I, I give you a bit of the horse, you can do it. You know it. Oh, I feel it. 
coming back again. Like a rolling thunder chasing the wind. Yeah, that oh. sounds very familiar. I, I have heard that. I, I mean, I know I've heard the chorus because that, that I'm like, yeah, I've heard that before. I was going to so rock out the end of that. that I heard you were like, yeah, I heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna let it out. <laughs> Is your channel? You do what you want to do. <laughs> I'm just oh, along no, for the ride. No, no, it's probably good. I didn't want to blow no eardrums when I got that, got to that, uh, that gravelly in there. <laughs> Cause it's like a graveling. It's it's real technical when you gravel out like that. Mm hmm. People, like I don't know. People don't understand that when you uh, when you do those screaming vocals, like the the heavy and the death metal people do it, mm -hmm. that takes some real vocal control. And I, it's like people are like, "There's no fucking talent," and yeah, yeah, there is. Or like in screamo. Yeah. <sighs> I just my I just can't handle it. My my son listened to some screamo for a while, and I I mean look I don't deny okay I'm I'm res I'm resigned that yeah you have to you have to really know how to look after your vocal cords to do that because if I did that I wouldn't be talking for a week. My cords would be stripped. But I just can't listen to it. Yeah, I just I just can't. Is it more stripped than Rammstein? <laughs> Okay. I, I still I still like that song. <laughs> Engel Let me see you stripped. Let me hear you make decisions without your televisions. Let me hear you speaking just for me. You sound French. That's about as close <laughs> as I can get to, to fucking Till Linderman. I'm sorry. You sound like you have a French accent. Well, do they sing with a French accent? I spent a, I spent a lot of fucking time in French. Like, that's probably how it like came. Uh, on. Maybe why? Yeah, like, you sound French. Like I, I had like three years of French. My brother had like three years of Spanish, mm -hmm. and we, we both taught each other the opposite languages. Oh, that's and cool. then, and then, after a while, we just he he went to, he actually went to down to Mexico, and actually got to use his. He remembers some of his, and every time he goes into the Mexi Mexican restaurant, he speaks and eats and talks like a local. <laughs> that's cool. It's like they treat him like family in there. They look at me like. What do you want, Blackito? <laughs> yeah, who are you? Yeah. No, that that no, that's exactly what I get. They're like, "What do you want, Blackito?" Because I because <laughs> I'm even lighter skinned than my brother. It, mm -hmm. It's it's worse. Uh, I'm the uh, I'm the odd skinned sheep of the family. The odd everybody <laughs> every everybody else is like a lot lighter, like a lot darker than I am. Yeah. <laughs> mom like we're the like the whitest people you know <laughs> like i'm so like okay no shit i'm so white casper comes down and takes pictures of me and sells them to edward cullen for beer money <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> is your blood made of mayonnaise or something <laughs> any clearer hey, i'd be transparent I can't say anything either. I've got fair skin too. I've, I'm, you know, we we we're the type we don't tan, we burn, no matter yeah. how we try. Yeah, you know that kind of thing. Yeah, I get it. I, I'm I'm there. In the I'm end, is uh, it, the song in the end is about us when we tan. Yeah. Yeah, the or we're trying to tan against us, and the piece of the piece of paper looks darker than we do. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. <laughs> the only thing, uh, yeah, my even even my dad said now that I'm growing a beard. He said you probably could have been a redhead, and I'm like, why is that? <laughs> you, 
your beard's got red in it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no shit. And then I go, I go to look in the dang mirror and I see hints of red in there. And I'm like, yeah, hot yeah. damn. Okay. My mother's do that. Um, I have, I, I, I kind of got the red jeans on the hair. Um, but they get it in there. Well, only, only one of them does actually. The other one kind of had it on his head, but he kind of lost a lot of his hair. But yeah, one of my brothers, when he grows his beard, it's, it's fully red. It's like Viking red. But his hair is kind of a sandy brown on his head. So, yeah, I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Who I you, could, you could call us super white. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm who I Yeah. <laughs> Oh my right, god! Was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that the only way to have me to be the stuff. That is oh my god! Right. <laughs> please, tomato please. There's a there's a reason they call me Darth Wheezy. <laughs> Lord. Oh well. Holy crap, it's been almost two hours. I know it has. I just saw that. I was like, yeah, it's like have it's have so it? much fun. Yeah. Just shooting the shit. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about <laughs> fandoms and how white we are. Oh um, my <laughs> <laughs> comparing ourselves to pieces of paper and mayonnaise. And okay. snow. Don't forget snow. And snow, yes, peed on snow. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, well, I think oh. we've covered the gauntlet, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> gauntlet's definitely been thrown tonight. <laughs> it was fun, though. I enjoyed it. I really did. I really appreciate you having me on. This has been a blast. I'd actually love to have you on again sometime, if that's cool. Yeah, anytime. Just this has been a blast. That's fine. I, you know, I, are, I enjoy are you it. Cool I'm able with, to do it. You cool with late? I mean, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Absolutely. Right. Don't want to get your ass in trouble at work or something. Right now, if I wasn't streaming, so you know, I'm, I'm up now. Okay, to be fair, to be fair, I, I do have to chill with the late nights at some point because I've been going. I did the other night. I think I was it the other night. I got pretty got to bed pretty early. Uh, last night I wanted to get to bed pretty early, but I was still up. I think till about midnight. I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, there does come a point where I'm going to have to get to bed at a reasonable hour because I'm so tired the next day. But for right now, I mean, you know, on, on your average day, yeah, I'm I'm good. I can hang late. I'm fine. Catman, seriously, my uh. My cousin, their mom and dad is straight from uh, Guadalajara, Mexico. No shit. And uh, the ki the kids, they're just about like that. There's. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. I love them. Their family. Mm -hmm. I I wouldn't trade them for the world. Right. No. <laughs> no. I love them. I love them. They're just great people. Yep. Just wish they'd hang out a little more. That's all. <laughs> maybe maybe I'm I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> oh. No. oh you are no. great. Uh oh, I think I lost you again. No, no, I'm here. I'm just okay. <laughs> Every time you go quiet, I'm like, oops, did I lose him again? No. <laughs> oh, honey, thank you so much. That's exactly what it is. Pop That's culture so archivist. Exactly. That's exactly oh, what I God. get, man. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. 
I don't know a lot of Spanish, but I know that one. I know that and word. I'm like, yeah, I know that one too. And I'm like, okay. Ooh. At least Poppy didn't teach you the language now, did he? See, I need to learn all the cuss words in every language. So if I really feel like letting it rip and it's not the place to do it, I could say it in another language and make it sound classy and no one will know what I'm saying. Hopefully. Oh, I've done that before. Just get away with it. <laughs> you know what? I, I just had a realization. We're we're probably going to get old and be locked up in the uh, locked up in the old folks' home, and uh, we're going to make escape plan plans, and we're going to write it all in cursive because nobody's <laughs> going to be able to fucking read it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh God, and, they're, and, they're and, not teaching that. And today, we'll put our and we'll put our fucking uh, and we'll put our map on our escape plan map on. On a deck of cards because because they won't yeah. they won't know that stuff from history how they did that and how that m deck of card map won the war. No, they won't. They don't read history. No, they won't. Exactly. Or they'll you know they've taken it and they'll revise it to to suit their narrative and then that's what people will be learning and generations will be growing up with that bullshit and then yeah they well they will have no clue. They will have no clue what we're talking about. They probably still don't have no clue what we're talking about. <laughs> this is true. It's sad, but true. You know it's sad, but true. <laughs> Rocket. Yes. And oh. on that note, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> have a nice night. Stay awesome. Stay safe wherever you are in this beautiful world of ours. Have a great old one. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Darth Hester out. Maybe.